Scott Naylor from Consult Motorhomes and I'd like to show you our 5.4 meter kite model. Um, if you'd like to come in and have a look. The first thing that you'll note is that both the seats swivel as with all our models. So this creates a really user friendly dinette area at the front of the van. Um, there's a raised floor here which will meet your feet so your feet are not dangling in mid-air so you, your feet will sit comfortably on the floor. There's also a, a port there for the table pole so there's a small dinette table that will sit in here. These tables are stored in this area above here. So this allows us to optimise the space and fully utilise the cab which on a 5.4 metre van uh, is very important. Um, so we move from this small dinette area here with the swivel seats that completely swivel. The other important thing is that the uh, bulkhead is away from this, uh, the, where we start the, the furniture in the fridge so that allows the seat to completely uh, rake back so if you are tall you're able to uh, drive the vehicle comfortably. Very important feature there. First thing that you'll notice is that we've put the fridge at the top. You're in and out of the fridge more often than you're in and out of the wardrobe. So this makes it very easy to get access in and out of the fridge. You're not on your hands and knees crawling on the floor stacking the fridge when you get back from the supermarket. So that's a really nice feature to have the fridge at that height so it does make it a lot easier to get in and out of the fridge. The wardrobe underneath, a huge wardrobe we've got hanging in this one. Um, so you've got heaps of space there for your uh, garments to hang. The other option is that we, uh, we can put shelves in there if you want to have folded garments in there. So there's a couple of options in the in the wardrobe but a really good sized wardrobe which goes all the way through into that behind that uh, raised floor area there. So in front of the vehicle both seats swivel, user friendly uh, height for the fridge and a really good storage for the, uh, for the wardrobe. So that brings us round into the kitchen area. Um, bear in mind this is a 5.4 meter van so it's not that much longer than um, a small, smaller pop top um, but what we have been able to do is we've created a flip here uh, there is another flip at this end so that this kitchen completely extends uh, and is, 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 a, is a full width kitchen uh, we've got a full oven three burner hob grill huge pantry storage so there's heaps of space in there for all your groceries and that kind of thing We've also got storage under the sink, which is great for bin liners and you're washing up stuff. We've got a cutlery drawer, we've got a crockery drawer, and we've also got a pan drawer as well, which uh, will take the uh, Ingenio pan set, which will fit perfectly in the bottom there. So all your kitchen and your storage around your kitchen is exactly as you would want it to be. There's also a, 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 an extra top box here which is great for your tea, coffee, kettle, that kind of thing. So everything is right where you would expect it to be over the kitchen area. Uh, and your power uh, as well pops up out of the surface there. So very straightforward kitchen area. That works very well. Um, so you've got everything you would expect to see in that kitchen area there. So that brings us on to the lounge area here. Um, so with this being a 5.4 metre van, um, the lounge area is where you do lose uh, a little bit of space. <clears throat> you still have all the key features of the 6 metre van, our reef version, which has the luxury washroom with the tip down basin, the bench loo, the shower, and obviously a hecky in the washroom as well. Um, but here uh, we've taken the two feet, the 600mm um, has come off 
uh, the, the, the lounge area which still leaves you a very comfortable sitting area uh, but it means that when you come to make this up as a bed, which we will do uh, shortly, and we'll show you how easily this goes together as a bed, you're actually sleeping across the van, whereas in a six metre van, if you go up to six metres, you can actually sleep down the van. Um, so that is the, the, the main difference, but it still gives you a very comfortable sitting area. Um, there's the back shelf that we use here, which is great, so you've got space to put a cup of tea or a drink. Uh, you've also got all this extra top box space all the way across the back. Again, in a smaller van, let's optimise all that space. So heaps of space on the rear and, and side top locker space as well. So this lounge area, although we are in a 5.4 metre van, uh, is still very very comfortable. There's a dining table and a drinks table that sit in here. Uh, again we've got blinds, we've got tinted privacy double glazed windows here. So and, and again we've got you know proper central heating, hot water, everything you would expect in a in a much larger motorhome uh, and we've managed to get all that into a 5.4 meter van which works very very well indeed so the byproduct of this wrap round lounge which is kind of feet up really comfy is that we also uh, give you scope to have some storage at the back so we've got a boot area for chairs and a barbecue uh, and also some extra storage on the back there for your hookup cable and various other things that you might want to store so we'll have a look at the boot area and we'll show you how much extra storage we can create by having this really comfortable wrap round lounge area so I'll show you the boot space in our kite model um, obviously the rear doors open completely even though it's got that really nice cosy feel when you're inside the van. Uh, this is the boot space which is uh, suitable for folding type chairs uh, of this ilk so there's still plenty of space and storage in there uh, for chairs and various other bits and pieces and also some extra space at the top there which you'll be able to get uh, quite a bit of um, few bits and pieces in there so it's handy free storage on the back there so 5.4 meters really luxury conversion very drivable very parkable and still space for uh, the boot also this here will stop the back cushions falling off every time you open the back door and it also uh, just protects you from the back doors as well when it's made as a bed so I'd just like to show you how quickly and how easily the bed goes together. Uh, on this, on our kite model, you are sleeping across the van. Um, so this slides out across and connects onto there, so that's nice and sturdy. The side cushion sits on there, and then half of the other side cushion sits on there. These cushions can be discarded front of the, of the vehicle and that then creates this really user friendly really big it's a double bed it's four foot six by over six foot long so it's a standard size double bed um, very easy to put together and then in the morning simply in reverse you've got storage under here for your bedding as well so in reverse this cushion sits on there half of that cushion sits on there the other half sits on the top that allows you to have full height cushions and then this slides back here and you're back to lounge mode very very quickly so the washroom is very very straightforward you have the Thetford cassette bench loo across there we've got a separate shower in the reef a separate shower tap and then we have the tip down basin uh, which comes down to give you a nice big user friendly wash basin and, and then uh, a nice cabinet that opens on there as well so very very simple solid shower tray basin that tips down and the Thetford loo uh, across the bench so this wet room effectively um, can wipe down after you've had your shower 
very importantly we've got a huge hecky in here which gives you lots of ventilation so that's a really important feature on a van conversion.